Welcome to Paris La Défense. The underground traffic is massive here. We are now at one extremity and will be heading towards the arc. With almost 60 art pieces, such as this red spider on our right, La Défense is not only a business district. On your right is the Knit building, one of the oldest ones, and the Christmas market on the left. The whole area used to be empty before the construction started in 1960. Built around a massive esplanade, 3 million square meters have been constructed, of which 20% is residential space. It now has more than 70 skyscrapers. The highest is 230 meters or 760 feet high, hence the tallest building in France. It is well linked thanks to a massive train system, taking only the RERA, one of the four train lines, and the busiest line in Europe, it has more than 1 million passengers per day. We are now under the Grand Arche, a 110 meters high building designed by a Danish architect. It has been built on the historic Parisian axe, going straight to the Arc de Triomphe. Inaugurated in 1989 for the bicentennial anniversary of the French Revolution, it cost more than 2 billion francs at the time. Originally a public building, it has been sold and leased back by the state in 2014. Massive renovations were undergone to reopen the roof to the public, which happened in 2017, welcoming a quarter of a million visitors per year and many afterwards. We are now going through the arch and we have to pass the glass sculptures. The city in front of us is Nanterre that holds the department prefecture and we can spot the new arena multipurpose stadium just in front of us. You can admire the roof as well, very distracting. We now move away from the arch. You can see the Knit building as well as the Golden Thumb art sculpture. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the visit and hope to see you soon!